More than 670,000 refugees have come to Poland since the beginning of the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Most people cross the border in Medyka, Korczowa, and Raben. Tent camps and temporary refugees can find shelter. Yesterday in the morning, the trains brought about 1,600 people to Olkus, who were then transported to Kraków and Katowice. The train brought refugees from Dorohusk to the main railway station in Lublin, while refugees from Kiev arrived at the Warszawa Wschodnia station. Additional trains needed for transportation are introduced to the timetable on an ongoing basis. At stations and stops, there are signs in Ukrainian. Yesterday, a plane with almost 40 tons of medical supplies provided by the World Health Organization landed in Warsaw. These funds will be transported to regions affected by the war. The supplies that are going in now are again being more specifically designed for the situation as it's unfolded and escalated. So uh, the, the equipment lists uh, in terms of what's, being, what's landing today include, you know, sutures, skin graft equipment, uh, equipment for doing major surgery, unfortunately equipment for doing amputations, for bone grafting. It is estimated that up to 4 million people may arrive in Poland. The Polish government is working on an act to regulate the rules of stays of refugees from Ukraine and Poland. As proposed by the government, it will contain a solution regarding the extension of periods of legal stay of Ukrainian citizens. Refugees will have the right to undertake legal work in Poland, use free health care and family benefits. The special act will also include provisions ensuring local governments to cover the costs of care for refugees. The draft is to be submitted to the parliament for a vote next week. The best thing is to create preparatory departments in schools where there will be Ukrainian children, where Polish language lessons will be held, and where other classes will be conducted by teachers who speak Ukrainian and Russian. For this, we compile lists of these teachers. We also create lists of volunteers who are students, for example, Ukrainian students in Poland, who could help out in such action. After Russia attacked Ukraine, the Food and Commerce Chamber called for the withdrawal of all Russian and Belarusian products from the Polish market. The initiative was also taken by the consumers themselves, who encouraged them not to buy products whose barcode starts with the number 460 and 481. Most of the economic entities operating on the Polish market withdrew these products from their assortment.